my name is Johannes Michels. I'm one of the founders of High Iron and the High Iron Oshi Villa project. And I'm responsible for the realization of this project and the um, and uh, yeah, the, the future of High Iron Oshi Villa project. So uh, when we started High Iron, uh, it was our vision and uh, um, idea to decarbonize uh, heavy industrial processes. So uh, one of these big industrial processes that causes a lot of CO2 emissions is iron making. This causes around about 10% or almost 10% of the global CO2 emissions to produce uh, just this product, the iron and steel that we all need a lot in our daily lives. And uh, here at Oshiwela, for the first time, uh, we do this at zero uh, CO2 emissions. So uh, one you can see in my hand, uh, that's been achieved actually abroad because we have a pilot plant in Germany where we uh, used Namibian iron ores to produce the first green iron uh, uh, in the world. And uh, that was one of the biggest achievements so far that we showcased the process is working very well uh, and the parameters are economic and we optimized the process. Then the next big uh, step is that within half a year uh, we've constructed Namibia's second biggest solar power plant. It's 25 megawatts in size, you can see it behind me and uh, it's been built at a very very short time uh, six months um, and uh, we've showcased that uh, a lot is possible a lot of learning has been done and then of course we've lifted our um, our uh, 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 we've lifted our furnace into its place and uh, now soon uh, that's what you see behind me we will lift in the electrolyzer so that uh, the hydrogen generation unit into its place so that we get now into the final stage of, in, of final installations and, and uh, commissioning of, uh, of the key equipment. Absolutely, so those two uh, are the key technologies together, or actually it's three key te technologies. There's the solar field that supplies the energy to both, and then there's the uh, electrolyzer that uses most of the energy uh, to split water into its two elements. So you've got uh, um, H2, so that's the hydrogen, and then you've got O, which is the oxygen, and we need the H2 because we want it to react again with the oxygen. And uh, yeah, so this is the important step uh, that we are, uh, uh, that is being done here. And uh, uh, in the kiln, that's where we bring in the hydrogen. Uh, that's where then the H2 reacts again with the O of the iron oxide, so the iron ore, uh, and we get water and pure iron, uh, what you can see here in my hands. Yeah, yes. yeah so um, we will here produce around 15,000 tons a year. Um, so that's a big number for a start, but a small number for the iron industry. So the world needs 2 billion tons. Um, so, but still, uh, we will abate around about 27,000 tons of CO2 emissions, um, which is already almost 1% of all the emissions in Namibia, or half the emissions of the Namibian uh, power industry. So, um, that's already a big achievement, um, uh, but it's a humble start um, in comparison to what still needs to be done. So a lot of my colleagues and, and us, we are working today already on the plans and the engineering for, for the next phases, for the scale up, uh, so that we can have even a bigger impact on the global CO2 emissions and uh, hopefully a positive impact on, uh, uh, on climate change. So we are currently planning a lot of uh, um, um, education tours here. So we want to show to the kids uh, what is happening and uh, also that actually doing what we do is not so complex like many people want to make us believe and uh, um, so that, that is the first step to understand and see what we are doing uh, but the second step is also that uh, um, now after this construction and going into the second phase we will not need a lot of young or we will need a lot of people not necessarily only young people um, but uh, we will need a lot of people to build the next phase so uh, we know already today that those people who've been busy with the construction here will be the teachers of tomorrow um, and uh, we hope that uh, a lot of young people will be interested to take part in it and learn with us how to do this